Greetings and hallucinations, ladies and lads. I am Chancellor of the Harmonious Frequencies of the Mighty Empire of Onion, and this is Universe Sim. It's a, uh, kind of an alpha build of the game. Uh, it's a lot more advanced than when I first started playing it, so I would like to jump in here and check out what they've changed and updated uh, since I played it. The last time I played it, they didn't even have uh, weather. They had just um, implemented a uh, temperature change system and stuff like that. So, yeah. Let's see what they've got now. Wake up. Wake up, creator. This is the beginning of your story. It starts with nothing. Nothing but an infinite void. However, you, with a single touch, can awaken the light. And so the universe sprang into being. Worlds filled with endless potential were scattered into the beyond. They formed into many different shapes and sizes. And while most were doomed to drift among the cosmos barren and alone, others flourished. These few planets soon became home to the greatest phenomenon of all. Life. However, life is a peculiar thing. It comes and goes as swiftly as a bit of space debris burning up in an atmosphere. A creator's purpose was always that of an observer, to simply admire the fleeting beauty of life's beginnings and ends. Yet, this balance could never last. The issue with allowing a species to evolve independently is that they always fail to do so. For life to have a better chance of succeeding, it needs a helping hand. Ah, here we are. Welcome to Mother Planet. This is a bare sight. For it came to be that there was day and night. Warmth and cold. And water to flow through the planet's veins. The soil was rich with minerals, which gave rise to a thick blanket of green. The perfect ecosystem was formed. It is no wonder, then, why life has chosen to inhabit it. A new species has been born, and they need guidance. This is your purpose now. Their very existence rests in your hands. Oh, this is terrible news for the the people of this planet, then. So this game immediately gives me feels for, um, Spore, right? Feels a little bit like Spore. Uh, also similar to something like Age of Empires. Um, Black and White 2. Probably black and white one, but I never played that one, so I don't know personally. We can zoom in and we can see, um, man, the scrolling speed is really slow. Here's a mammoth right here, though. Can I... Yeah. Okay, right click can change the direction of the camera if I hold it down and move around. So there is an mammoth. Pretty majestic, if you ask me. Pretty well done. Uh, the details for um, when you zoom in on the map are actually pretty nice. Uh, as far as I'm aware, there are aggressive creatures as well. Is this a bear? 
I think this is a bear. So I, I don't know for sure, but I think he will eat your people. I think there's wolves also. Uh, I think this is one of those little fox creatures that we saw at the beginning uh, in the intro of the game. So that's pretty cool. I don't know if the foxes will uh, hurt the people either. Um, but yeah, so far as I know uh, from playing the alpha forever ago is you want a good amount of water near your village center. As well, you want plenty of green, uh, a little bit of stone, and animals are nice to have, but not necessary. This is looking pretty good over here. This is actually looking really good. Uh, trees are good to have, because of course your village is going to need wood for its development. This is looking pretty spectacular uh, right in this area, so I think we will... There's also these deer things in here. There they are. Uh, pretty, pretty gorgeous, if you ask me. There's a flying thing. They didn't have flying animals last time I played it. Uh, how much space do we have between these two bodies of water? A pretty good amount. So let's actually plop it down over on this side of the trees. First Take evolution a look at your tower. New subjects. Here they are. They're called nuggets. Nuggets. Largely because it's of their body's apparent inability to keep itself in one piece. <laughs> Adahi and Elu, the architects of their species. They are the founders of everything that nuggets will ever know or achieve. Nice. Okay, so I pressed F to follow that guy. Uh, they automatically build their own huts and houses, so that's not something anybody has to worry about. So Adahi, or Adahi, I think he called him. Yeah, here goes a hut up right now. Uh, that's what this little caution marker is marking off. So they're going to collect the resources uh, necessary to build that. Oh, man. Uh, the entire user interface is different from when I used it before. Uh, this is going to tell us the local temperature. This is just for one day. Wind direction. Um, okay, take shelter. Day-night cycle. So it tells us kind of what time it is. Game speed. We don't want it to go very fast. We have zero nuggets this that believe in us right now. This is a beautiful planet. It is. Try not to ruin it, will you? Okay, power uh, creator points. None of these buttons actually work I right now. I hope you've been working on your beach body. You're not going to spend another summer just lazing around, are you? Okay, summer is here now. Uh, it is talking about Celsius. I'm not... I am, uh, American. And so I wonder if there's a way for me to change it to Fahrenheit so I have a better understanding of, um, what's actually going on. Game, maybe? Temperature units. Fahrenheit, there we go. Language English is fine. Uh, nugget juice color. Oh, that's, uh, yeah. That's blood, actually. God's Trail is on. Yeah, so the God concept of it, uh, reminds me of black and white after game restart. Hopefully the Fahrenheit will... Yeah, it has gone to Fahrenheit. That's good. Need help with a delicate matter? Lecupidon creator power to increase the population in the civilization. Okay. Uh, so this is uh, like a god request kind of a thing. They're asking me to help them out. Book of Love. Okay, I'm on I it. I didn't think you knew anything about reproduction, creator. Okay. Okay, that's just the exact same thing. A few extra helping hands. Yeah. And there, there's really nothing that I can do. Um, there is a an ability. Okay, here's the creator powers menu. Got wrath, influence, protection, and creation. I don't know if influence will work. Is that what it said to use? Lecupidon creator power. 
see the research panel. Um, we got primitive tools. Water pump. Unlocks the lights in the buildings. Yeah, the uh, the research is a lot more, a lot more in depth. Wow, wow, man, there's a lot uh, to learn here. Water flow, buckets, well shaft, water browsing, water storage. Mm-hmm. Always be needed. Okay. Let's do the dug well first. Uh, water storage. I think we might need the water wheel before we get to the water storage. And then I've let's just wondered, go this way. Who actually does the research around here? That's a good question. Pretty sure I do. Okay. Influence. Aha! The Cupidon. Nuggets are all unique to one another. Although there are some things that are shared between nuggets, these include the need for certain essentials like food and water, a stable roof over their heads, and an occasional nap. They want to learn, build, discover, and create. It would all be quite inspirational if they also didn't happen to be the species that initially thought their shadows were trying to eat them. Okay, hold down the control button to... What are you trying to do? Make it sing a cappella? There we go. Select which two nuggets. I wasn't uh, actually reading. That's why I didn't understand how to use it. There we go. Yeah, hold down the control button and select the two nuggets you wish to match. So that's worked out. And they go into their hut and they uh, do their business. You don't always have to tell them to do that. I'm pretty sure they'll automatically uh, woohoo at some point on their own. Okay, so we also have uh, telekinesis. Uh, whether you're uprooting trees, displacing rocks, or sending nuggets into space, there's always fun to be had. Oh, would you Ooh. look at that? A little baby nugget. Aren't they adorable when they're young? Don't get too attached, though. They're still mortal after all. Plus, what? they will soon be old enough to have an opinion and make questionable life decisions. Let's see how much you like them then. Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, we can rejuvenate nuggets, it looks like. Forestation, because they will clear-cut the place, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> okay. Summon a rain cloud. Fire. We've got tornadoes, also. And windstorms. Um, okay, so under production, we don't have anything unlocked. It looks like resources is the one. Yeah, water pump. Can only be built on the shore here. I think this is close enough to everything. Okay, leader of the planet is Adahi. That's fine. Of course, we have to have some kind of weird patriarchy going on right now for some reason. Okay, the water pit, I think, will also provide fresh water. Yeah. And how much water it provides is dependent on the little water droplet up above. You can see it went up to 16 back here. Over here, close to the water's edge. I've read over the new research creator. 15. Impressive stuff for a species that still thinks the planet is flat. <laughs> yeah, I was going to make a joke about that whenever we got into the uh, into the game. Because um, it, it clearly showed it as a sphere as we entered. And I was going to joke about it being uh, flat instead. Yeah, so there should be lights on in the buildings now. You can see there is one inside the hut here, so that's good. Looks like we could do some more research. Fishing is always a good way to get food. And so we are going to need that pretty soon. Uh, water storage is very important. Primitive cooking should come in handy. Um, 
Utensils. Cooking time is reduced by two seconds. I'll take that for sure. Uh, hunger need is reduced by 10%. Let's do that definitely. Let's actually make that number four and then number five. Primitive cooking. Hunger is reduced by 5% and we're able to build an eatery. So those are all good things. Uh, the fishing will provide us with a hut. So that's fantastic. Yeah, the research is just how we advance our little civilization here. So that's pretty nice. Uh, I believe that they will forage for berries and stuff on their own. I'm not absolutely certain though. Yeah, three out of three nuggets uh, believe in us as well. So that's adorable. Never mind. We have more than three nuggets around. Struggling to agree on names for our little ones. Adahi keeps wanting to call them Is something this trivial. Really what you want to spend your time doing? More appropriate names, but he believes I'm trying too hard. Click on a nugget. Can you please help us settle this argument? Okay. All right then. Let's call them something silly. This is Adahi. So these are the two nuggets that I'm supposed to be naming. Stone and Stick have already been named. Uh, what did she want to name them? He believes I'm trying too hard. It doesn't say uh, specifically what she wants to name them. Huh. Okay. So we can rename him... Ah, there we go. Um, how about Limwell? That'll work. That's him. And um, sure, it works for me. Okay, name the newborn nuggets. Did it. She loves the new baby names. Wonderful. I should have named them something a little more uh, primitive. Okay. Fantastic. Uh, they are brothers and sisters, technically, but in this uh, age, it doesn't really matter. So let's go for this again. We have enough influence here. Where'd he go? There he is. Can't get him. Holding control. Huh. I'm pretty sure this I have enough water influence. This pump system is rather advanced for such a young civilization. I mean, sure, it's built out of rocks, wood, and a bit of string, but impressive nonetheless. There we go. Do I no, look like your secretary? Answer <laughs> your own messages. Love is in the air. Power to create miracles. Been trying to build a hut for Limwell and myself to this live in. This one is just being lazy. I've thrown my back out with all my heavy lifting. Can hardly lift the hammer, let alone get the resources. Use telekinesis to deliver the missing resources to the construction site. Okay. So they can't actually woohoo until they get you resources might be too here. too kind for this world creator. It's oh, true. Well, yes, I, I suppose it'll give you some time to practice your powers while that nugget lays in a hammock sipping a mojito. That's right. Five wood and five stone. Uh, how do I use it, actually? I didn't pay attention. Do I have to hold control? Okay, left click just moves me to the place. It's just rock. I don't think that counts as stone. Huh. 
Huh. Yeah, if I hold control, it's not moving it. If I right click, uh, it just turns my camera view again. So it's really not giving me any hints at all uh, how to do this. It just says use the telekinesis creator power to deliver the resources to the site. And then the, the creator power... Oh, excuse me, doesn't actually give me a description on how to use it. All the other ones seem like you hold control... Can't hold control to uh, do these. Constructors are are none. I'm just holding control straight on this. Uh, I can see the floaties. Yeah, it's glowing and everything, but it's not, uh... I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. Or how to move it. I huh. suppose they have to entertain themselves somehow. Yep, they are reproducing anyways. Uh, the parents are. And somebody will get around to uh, building this. I think I can assign constructors one of these days. After we get some more research and stuff done. That's a little frustrating, though. I would like to know how to use this and why it's not working. Brand new nuggets. That's right. A nugget believes I am real five out of, like, six. Yep, two. Two new nuggets. So we have seven total. Oh, no. That's not the number of nuggets at all. Here we go. Four adults, two children. Okay. I don't much care about the fishing right now. I'd like to know how to... how to move this. Left click doesn't work. Right click. Does it work? Okay. Yeah, if I just mouse over this, it tells me the resources that it needs. Birch tells me the trees, resources, and stuff. I can just click on this stuff and it lights up without holding down control. So control isn't actually giving me any options here. And then, yeah, right click just moves my view. Control isn't actually helping me do anything. I have plenty of creator points, influence points. It only requires five, I have 60. Use a telekinesis creator power to deliver missing resources. Here's five wood right here that I could move over there if I knew how to do it. Holding control. I, I can see it light up when I hold control, right? That's pretty visible. I right clicked on it, nothing happened. If I hold right click, I just move my view. If I hold left click, Okay, it still doesn't bring it over there. If I double click. Yeah, nothing happens. Five stone is already there. And I can't, uh, I can't just click plus or something to move that there. Temple is complete? Where in the world? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. 
and they're more positive towards me. I failed, by the way. One of your nuggets has taken ill after drinking from the lake, creator. More will follow. Too busy or felt the request was too silly. No, I just couldn't figure out how to do it. Built some wells. Yeah, it absolutely would not happen. I figured it was control and drag, uh, but that was not the case. So I'll just have to figure it out another time. Okay. So somebody has an infection now. Uh, they want healing. Friend Elu never had a particularly pleasant face. That nugget isn't, isn't that your mom? Too good. I don't think purple bumps are very common. Uh, with the rejuvenate creator power. Okay, this should Heal be simple enough. Nugget, creator. I can't bear to watch someone be sick. It Jolt makes of my joy. insides turn out of worry, of course. Creation protection. Here we go. Rejuvenate. Oh wow! It's not healthy. Rocking. It's good manners to avert your gaze, creator. It's not healthy. Yeah, if I click on it now, it's going to rejuvenate the building, and that's not what we want necessarily. They're both going at it now, though. Okay. Nugget named a city. Ah, the wonders of biological life. It is truly, truly disgusting. <laughs> it's true. Okay. Fountains are coming soon. Kind regards. Okay. Wonderful. We did it. Uh, we have fishing now. Here we go. A fishing pier. So we can set this up on the same lake here. Let me see if there are... Yeah, there are some fish in here that we can see. Kind of scooting around down in the water. That's fine. Let's build it here-ish. Fish Slip. will add to the food supply. But don't forget that lakes freeze in winter. That's right. It's absolutely true. Uh, So we should do some more research towards like farming and stuff. Wood fired oven. Water flow well shaft. I don't see farms. We've got calendars and agricultures here. Engineer's hut will be handy, actually. I might be going too far into cooking and stuff. Um, if it's already summer, we might get to winter before I'm able to research agriculture. I'm not sure how fast it uh, time flies. You look a little confused. Oh yeah, absolutely. Don't worry. I expected as much. Okay. I know you have questions, but you'll learn everything in time on your own without bothering me. Good. We're about to have a uh, your civilization grows stronger with oh. every item you research, creator. Well, good. Uh, storage area. Yeah, let's get the witch doctor so that we can heal, uh, passively heal the nuggets. That'll be good. And we can go ahead and get some water storage uh, for the place. Can we rotate these? Uh, maybe with R, E, Q, and E. I'm not sure that the reservoir needs to be really close to the Look pumps. Look at all of those colors. Isn't fall beautiful? Someone should oh no. really make a painting before you lead the planet to ruin. Yeah, if it's already fall, uh, we may have some trouble uh, with the fish situation. I think if the water pump is here, they should have access to it fairly readily. But I also think that the access to the water goes away when it freezes. So let's put in the reservoir there. We're not going to have much food storage by the time um, by the time we get around to all this other stuff. I want the agriculture. Hunting might be better for the winter. But we'll see. 
We will see. We'll get an eatery going. And then this other stuff hopefully pops up a little bit sooner. Yeah, we do have hunting available nearby because of these animals. Oh, here's a wolf looking thing over here. Let's go see. I don't think this is that same fox curly tailed creature, no. This is definitely a wolf of some some measure. They're very cool looking uh, creature designs. That's for sure. I like the uh, artsy sort of colors and uh, designs on them. Looks very tribal. I saw, yeah, here's those mammoths again. Are they being hunted by wolves? Or do they get along with the wolves? What's this as well? Oh, that's a turtle. That's a turtle there. Very cool. Can we pop back to our uh, our nuggets here? There we go. It's quick and painless. Nice. No new mail uh, for the moment. That's fine. Okay, we are getting construction done. Okay, there we go. Now we can assign nuggets. We've got laborers. This is their age. Um. Oh, what's this? Weak. Aha. Can sort them uh, by their abilities. So Semfeshu is weak. I don't know what that means, though. Nuggets by hunger. Okay, Adahi. No need for training. Just send them right in. Yep. As far as laborers go, I think these are berries right here. Yeah, food of 19. Local temperature 42 degrees. Uh, we should be able to build the eatery what here pretty is soon. It you're hoping to see exactly? Oh, I wasn't. Uh, I wasn't trying to peek. Don't worry. Water status is increasing by 18. Yep, if arrow is red and pointing down, it means they're using accumulated water. Sometimes they'll even ask me about uh, doing terrible things uh, to them, to other nuggets. Um, return him to his parents before he meets the unfortunate end. One of the couriers say they saw him chasing a butterfly. There's wolves. Kamboku, huh? Okay, I'm on it. I hope See? you find more than just bones, creator. Every nugget counts. Yeah, we can't find Kemboku uh, in the list here. I have a feeling he's probably going to be a little nugget. Is this him over here? Wolf. That's not what I was clicking on, though. This is Kemboku. All right. Uh... Can someone please get that nugget a fresh pair of underwear? Okay, I just held down left click and you saw the uh, circle happen. Now how do I set him down gently, I wonder? Oh no, I left clicked again and he just fell. With water sources freezing over, your nuggets okay. will have to use water from reservoirs. You have been building reservoirs, right? It's true. Oh no, this has totally frozen over. Uh, I wonder if a well would work similarly. Has this already frozen over? Looks like it has. Yeah, 32 degrees. 33. And hopefully it warms up during the day, though. Thaws out for a little while, because we did not build the reservoir fast enough. Okay, there's wolves close by too. I wonder if the hunting will uh, get rid of some wolves. So instead of agriculture, let's go for hunting. We probably should have skipped fishing too. Uh, we could get the eatery going though. 
I sincerely hope that your civilization eventually learns how to make a decent cup of coffee. Me too. Let's plop it down right there. It does use uh, water, so that's why I wanted it to be built next to the... This thing. Eh. It really is winter right now. Uh, pretty harshly here. I'm glad to see you taking such good care of your subjects. There you go. I wonder if I can... Uh, Need a higher nugget belief ratio of 15. So we can do rain right now. Can we not uh, warm up? Okay, here we go. You can fast forward to your favorite season without having to alter the passage of time. Might be a little confusing for the creatures to experience four seasons in one day, but they'll be grateful to avoid winter. Not a fan of the current season, skip it. Okay, yeah, spring. Perfect. Yeah, they're very confused. <laughs> but I don't think we would have survived winter um, in that condition. So we do not have the food or the water. Uh, I still think going for hunting is probably a good shout, though, instead of agriculture. It's still going to take us quite a while to get there, though. But now that I know that we can skip winter anytime we want. That's definitely going to be a helpful system. you enjoy music, system. creator? I was thinking about taking up the violin. It'll come in handy when something tragic happens. Oh no. Is someone going to die soon? Because if that's the case, we're going to have to get a uh, cemetery going. Sure does take a while to research things, though. That's for sure. Instead of firing straight down the I line. I can't say I'm a fan of nugget delicacies, but it should keep everyone relatively alive and happy. That's right. They do seem to brew some interesting beverages, though. <laughs> Shizulu, if you would be so kind as to gather up the food into the eatery. Are there no more berry bushes nearby? Seems they may have already picked them. Okay. This should be rising. Yes. That's fantastic. And how's our fishery going? It doesn't tell me how to unlock the second tier. I think we have to upgrade the building, and for that I think we need um, the engineer... What's it called? Engineer's hut, yeah. Once we have that, I think we can upgrade and repair uh, buildings. Is this the current amount of water being generated by all of your water pumps? Okay. Oh, nice. Got an enlightenment stuff there. So now we have what we need for an engineering center. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you were trying to catch a peak. What are you talking? Oh, because they're rocking around. Well, let's go see if we can. Engineers pour their blood, sweat, and tears into the buildings they construct, and now. You're just letting them all collapse. That's right. Tisk tisk. Stone hut. More rubble than building. What are you talking about? It's in perfect condition. Here we go. This is the health of the building. 58%. Yeah, there it is. How's the, uh, the big kahuna? It's not degrading at all. Neither does the temple, apparently. Creator points regeneration speed is fast right now. Amount of points per sacrifice nugget. Ten. So we can sacrifice nuggets. I think we can just put them on the temple and sacrifice them. They do love us, so that's good. Pretty happy about that. 
This is coming along pretty quickly, actually. We've got three people working on it all at once. And as soon as we throw some engineers in here, um, we will have repairs happening. Oh, he said, ouch his finger. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can hear the voices. I hope you can. Okay. Uh, it doesn't matter who goes in here, but Lemwell, how about you pop in? And he should start repairing structures around, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I catch you at a bad time? Okay, he's sure-footed. That's good. Moves a little bit faster. Has no education degree. Where is our... Oh. Gourmand. Kamboku. Doesn't that mean that he's good at uh, cooking? No, not Halmu. Wanted to see uh, Kamboku. Loves to eat and gets hungry faster. Okay, that's not what I was hoping it was. Workaholic. Twenty-five percent more stamina and working. Maybe I'll make her my uh, my engineer. As a matter of fact, Kosalmu. You're fired. You've told them we don't cover dental, right? That's right. What's the rubber ducky mean? One day, when you're older, I'll explain how nugget babies are made. <laughs> okay. That would be nice. Okay. Still working here. Water status evaporating. Is that because it's so warm? It's still going up, though. What's this? We had one meal there. Beverages are only available at special buildings. Takes a lot of time to prepare them. Now yeah, we definitely need to learn how to upgrade buildings. Well water capacity. Sure that this increases, yeah, fishing hut upgrade. Eatery upgrade. Eatery food capacity. Okay. Nugget hunger needs reduced. I think that's going to be important. Let's do that one before the ancient burial. And then, uh... Fishing hut upgrade sounds pretty good. To my mind. We'll wait, though. We'll wait, because I keep changing my mind anyways. Is it eatery in bad condition? No, it's fine. It's just out of resources, I'd say. Okay, I think that is going to be it for this episode, though. If you want to catch another one, be sure to subscribe. Consider supporting my channel through the Patreon link down in the video description. And feel free to check out any of my other videos or playlists that you might be interested in. I thank you so much for all the time you spend on my channel. And I hope blessings of wisdom and peace on all of you. Farewell.